Greetings, fellow friends. Now I'm here to tell you what a carbon dofer is, and what baserves are, and are the vehicles that use that specific engine. Carbon dofers use a reactive carbon vapor fuel cell. What reactive carbon vapor means is that it is very reactive, you know. It is pure carbon in very tiny, tiny, minuscule particles in form of vapor that reacts very heavily with oxygen, explosively. And because of this, you cannot use a turbine. Because if you were to use a turbine, then the turbine would explode. Kind of like this. Yeah, dangerous, isn't it? So we have all of the vehicles here that have carbon dofers. And you can hear them idling in order to basically l lubricate their carbon dofers. So we can see here a typical carbon dofer. What it is, is that there is a flat metal torus looking thing that goes forward and backwards. And what that does is to provide an explosive force by that forwards and backward motion and propel the craft forward. It accepts air that is rich in oxygen from the front and due to the motion that has like very few moving moving parts the flat disc goes forward and then it goes backwards in order to accept air into it and it has like tiny little channels that has air in it and then when it goes backwards it combusts explosively repetitively and then it propels the craft forwards and there are different versions of this this is Beja Beysirf M1 this is Beja's first Beysirf that uses carbon dofers you can see how haphazardly connected these giant cruiser engines are on this craft. And these uses like four carbon dofer discs that accept air. No, three actually. Yeah, three. It accepts air, rich in oxygen, and it beats up and down and up and down and it expels the explosive, for back, explosive force backwards as you can hear and they are ridiculously powerful carbon dofers There is no throttle to this, so it's either on or off, because they just they just can't be throttleable because it uses the explosive force and the recoil in order to keep itself stable. Uh, 
And yeah, you just turn it off, and then you turn it on. And I think you can remember this. This is the sand cruiser that uses two carbon dovers in the Dune Pirates animation. It's not the exact model, it is the Fessworth Sand Cruiser VC3. <coughs> and Turn the brakes off. Turn around. Uses gyro forces. You know, there, it has an internal gyro in, in order you can actually do this. And then. cool, isn't it? Carbon Dofers. Piritsuka, please. Carbon Dofers have been, you know, perfected so they don't really sound with banging noises over and over again. Like this one. The Etsifus Basirf ZP80. This one have an opposing stabilizing disc that makes the combustion explosion much more dealable. You know, for civilians that want to live in cities and they just want, you know, a little bit more silence. And of course, there has to be a sport version for those who want to go faster. you do? You just turn 180 degrees around and then that's how you break. And then we have the id surf. Wait, it's not the bay surf? It's the id surf. Id means small and cute in the Terahiptian language, and of course, there it is, the Id Sirf. Cute, isn't it?
And of course, there's <laughs> there are certain kind of people that put guns <laughs> on their base roofs. And then there are those who like to modify carbon dofers, like, like the Slavuiks. So they provide more force that can, you know, that lasts for a longer period of time. Yeah, that's a RCV canister, RCV fuel canister. But then they add these little smaller canisters with pure ethanol, basically alcohol. And it goes into this turbo that is actually a turbine. And uh, the carbon dofer is in the front. So it adds more, you know, ethanol to it in order to boost further. And then this specific version, the Slavoiku BIMG 500, has a booster pack, a third one, that takes the extra exhaust and makes it go even faster. 